We have to start here as we often do with the latest numbers in the crisis. So we get them from Johns Hopkins University. 81.3 million confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide, at least 19.3 million right here at home. Now more than 334,000 American lives lost. And, and doctor, and, and rightly so, we, we talk about numbers, but we need mm -hmm. to dig into, get behind the numbers a little bit. We talk about the number of cases, hospitalizations, mm -hmm. but there are characteristics about those hospitalized that we need to also pay attention to. Correct, TJ. And there's a new study published in the American Journal of Epidemiology about those hospitalized patients with COVID-19. So let's take a look. First of all, hospitalized patients have about a one in eight chance of dying overall. That's the mortality found in this study. 34% of hospitalized patients do require ICU care. We know that's an issue because ICUs across the country are at or near capacity. About 12% of hospitalized patients required intubation, mechanical ventilation. Black patients in this study more likely to be hospitalized, but not found to be at a higher risk of death. So that is some good news. Okay, so even if you're not hospitalized, maybe you don't need to think that you're totally in the clear. I mean, you're in better shape, maybe, but what are the numbers right. you need to keep in Correct. mind? Correct, and I think we need to look at COVID-19 on that spectrum of severity. So for yeah. non-hospitalized patients, let's say you get sick with COVID-19, you're looking at a minimum of 10 days off the grid, no work, yeah. isolation. Um, also, there's this post-COVID syndrome we've talked about affecting anywhere from 10 to 30%, possibly even more residual long-term debilitating symptoms. And then overall, right now, according to the confirmed cases in this country, risk of death of COVID-19, one in a thousand. So it's not just the patients who are hospitalized. We all need to remember how to stratify our own risk. All right, and here we are. We've got to get through the holidays yep. now. So we're expecting, I mean, we talked about December being a record month, January, February. We yeah. could be in for some trouble. For sure. For sure. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.